bar, you notice that, or I'm sorry, if you missed the title screen, essentially these guys are going to go down to the dock region, find uh, the ship called the Sugar Glider, uh, and pick up a package for their patron, uh, return it, get paid 50 bucks or 50 gold pieces. Uh, these guys uh, are familiar with their patron, and everything is peach keen. Uh, with um, guy. They, they are on the up and up. Uh, we do have audio, which is great. Uh, it's it's just the laptop that we listen to. So our apologies for dragging this out. We'll try and pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, starting in the high left, uh, uh, normally our producer. Tonight, she's our producer player. Uh, who are you and who are you playing tonight? What's the... <laughs> I would, I would say yes. This is going to be a very easy scenario. I see no problems whatsoever in going to <laughs> get it. Uh, below her is David. David, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Okay, my name is David, and uh, I'll be playing uh, my character, who's usually in cacophony, uh, Zadar. He is a changeling arcane trickster, and he has slipped into a persona for the evening, and it will be none other than Rob Ice Van wow. Winkle. <laughs> so this is going to be a fun show. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, are you going to lip sync your answers? Or, or just oh, wait, I'm sample gonna, them? Are you going to uh, sample them? I'm going to dance my dex uh, saves. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, folks, what do you think? Shall I just kill these fuckers now? Last but <laughs> certainly not least, uh, Carol. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Wow, he's gonna kill me before the intro. That would be cute. It'd be like a Hackmaster game. Kill the character as you're rolling it up. Hi everyone, I'm Carol. Uh, uh, tonight I'm playing a new character. I'm playing a swashbuckler known as Rosa the Raven. And uh, she's actually a favorite path or a new favorite pathfinder character of mine too so i was like i have to bring her over here she's a lot of fun to play and swashbucklers in 5e are pretty good from what i saw on my abilities earlier so this will be fun yeah bring it bring it uh, and I, <laughs> too. i've got my hat i got my hat too so see i'm all discombobulated i i i missed follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy our stuff uh, the link is down there. Uh, we got shirts. We got uh, bath towels. We've got beach towels. Uh, I think bidets are coming. Bidet. Uh, probably not bidets. Uh, yeah. Uh, duvet cover, sheets, shirts, sweatshirts, toddler onesie. shit. Buy, buy your kid a onesie, uh, even if he's the size of Kyle, because Kyle actually looks good in a onesie. Uh, do that. Uh, if this is your first time watching us, welcome aboard. We appreciate it. Uh, if you ever want a seat here, uh, hit us up at mhoboinc on Twitter or mhoboinc at gmail.com. Again, I'm really discombobulated. I'm just so happy this is episode 100. So these guys are in They've accepted a job to go down to the docks, find the sugar glider, obtain an item, and bring it back. Are you guys ready to do this shit? Ready? Sure. Sure. Let's you get guys, on it. You guys leave the high ground. Uh, you go down the market district, which is kind of slanted in, leading down to the docks below the cliffs. Uh, you arrive. Uh, the ocean breeze swirls, and the flags of several neighboring nations can be seen atop the wooden vessels in port. Uh, you move down the docks, but give me a perception check, please, all three of you. All right, ready. Nineteen. Uh, twenty-four. Nice. Yeah. Well, they they got this. I have a nine. Uh, Rosa, you look at each of the ships and uh, you don't see it. Uh, my Corona and Zadar. Uh, strangely enough, you do not see it, but you notice, you two notice, that the docks are packed for some reason. Uh, about this time, three. Uh, Zadar, you are focused in on the docks, and you bump into an individual, a short, plump man, wearing spectacles, carrying two large 
trunks or satchels, you knock him to the ground, and one of the trunks opens up, spilling a variety of scrolls and texts. What would you like to do? Yo, I am going to help this gentleman up and pick up his scrolls and texts, and maybe pocket a scroll. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, the man thanks you very much and announces that he is... Uh, fuck. <laughs> uh, his name is Mortimer. Mortimer. Mortimer J. Sneed. He apologizes profusely to, Z to Zadar and he thanks you for helping him pick up the scrolls. Uh, he announces that he is fresh to Cacophony and he is on a sabbatical from the great or the Grand Academy, where he teaches. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Grand Academy? The Grand Academy. The one that's in the... Uh... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> do they teach heroes there? Right. Okay. They do teach heroes, as a matter of fact. My dear, I teach heroes to be heroes. Uh, I am more of an arcane art specialist. Thank you very much. Uh, Zadar, uh, Ice, Ice Baby, do you steal any of the scrolls? Uh, I'm gonna try while I'm hamming it up with the guy and say, yo, you gotta teach them ladies to drop the zeros Jesus. and get with heroes. Come on. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll take two performance checks, one for that <laughs> shitty rhyme, bust, and uh, one for hijack and one of his papers. Okay. Uh, the first roll is a 12. That's the uh, performance. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the next one? Slide a hand. Yep. Okay. The handy dandy dice roller. 22. Uh, you managed to pocket one scroll marked with a wax seal, but your performance gets this reaction from him. <laughs> yeah. uh, he is a bald man with little tufts of white hair, spectacles, very scholarly looking. He thanks you again profusely and says, I hope you have a good day. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> before he wanders off uh with all three of you noticing Word. that the ship is not in uh dock uh some of you have been here and you realize that maybe it's time to go talk to the dock master uh pita marin who would like to go find pita i will take perception checks i said i would all Oops, right I don't with that freaking roll Shows are gonna suck again today. 18? Yes. Ice? Ice, baby? Yeah, only a seven, yo. Rosa? Yeah, six. Uh, my Corona, you notice uh, the Doc Master busy as usual, surrounded by a significant amount of people as he barks orders trying to get uh, items and people moving in and out of the dock. After several minutes of being ignored, he looks at you and he goes, What? 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 What do you want? Do you know when the sugar glider might arrive? He stops one of the uh, dock workers to and fro. Yo, sugar glider, where is it? I, I'm sorry, <coughs> sir. I'm sorry. Uh, we're still trying to get the passengers off this boat. Uh, the sugar glider is not going to be able to come into a slip for an hour. I think, sir. I'm very sorry. Uh, these these visitors from the Northwest are just too slow and carry too much baggage. Uh, what, is, what is all this? What, why are there so many people? Uh, why are there so many ships and people here? Uh, we had an unexpected amount of uh, naval traffic uh, this morning on the um, shoreline. And we are trying to get everybody moved out. The normal traffic is stuck out in the bay. All three of you look to where he points, and you see a total of four ships anchored in the bay waiting to get a slip organized to them. Uh, the harried dock worker takes off, and uh, Peter Moran says, uh, we will try and get the sugar glider in. Are you expecting something? Uh Yes, we are expecting a, a package off of it that we need to pick up for someone. Okay. Uh, what is it out there, actually? Could you tell me? Be a sweetie and tell me? He squints his eyes and he looks and he says it's the third one over. Okay. I'll take note of that. Yep. Uh, he says, uh, hang out, uh, find a drink, go get one of the uh, 
go get some food from the plaza. Uh, we will try and get it here as soon as possible. No, no, not that one. That stuff goes over there. He goes, I got to get going. So I stop in for a minute. Okay. Would you be free for a drink later? <laughs> Give me a charisma check. <laughs> have any <laughs> d20 plus your charisma modifier she's gonna see oh, if he is. wants to get what a hero <laughs> That's right. 13 17 uh no ma'am i do not have time and i am happily married however you do feel a tug just above your buttocks region what the oh. hell you whip around and it is mortimer j sneed Excuse me, miss, I couldn't help but notice you offering a drink. I would buy that drink if you could help me for a moment. What kind of help do you need? I, as you know, am Mortimer J. Sneed. I am from the Grand Academy. <laughs> I teach heroes. Currently, I am on sabbatical. He pretty much goes through the same rigmarole that he already <laughs> gave to Zadar. It seems to be very practiced and rehearsed. But he tells you some new information in the fact that he is looking for the Rock of Ages stone. Through his studies, he has discovered that there is a stone somewhere on the dock at Cacophony, allegedly, that is the <laughs> Rock of Ages. And he has an amulet that he presents, and it has a triangle on the amulet. He said, it looks a lot like this stone from the writings and uh, discoveries that I have made. He opens up his satchel and he starts to fumble through some scrolls. He finds one, unrolls it, and it shows kind of a triangular shaped stone with an inset triangle on it. Hmm. He goes, I am looking for this stone. And as I have stated in my studies at the Grand Academy, where I'm from sabbaticalizing right now, it is here. Can you help me find it? And I will certainly buy your attractive nature <laughs> some wine and even some brie cheese because Ooh. who doesn't like brie cheese? But first I need to find heart. the stone. <laughs> How do you know that it's here? My dear, I teach at the Grand Academy where I am on sabbatical from. I teach heroes. He almost sounds robotic in nature, okay. but you can tell that's he's... Really... Help. I, I, I might be Andres, but that does not help us. We're here. This is a big city. We need to clear where to start with. It is on the dock somewhere. So on physically the... on top of the dock, not underneath the dock. It should be in a place where one can recognize it. I assume you three live here and perhaps have seen it. Yeah, well, that's what that... That begs a question. When I've seen it, I'm on the docks probably all the time. Everybody give me a perception check. Oh, for frick's sakes. That's no. a no. <laughs> <laughs> 12. What a switch damn dice roller. 12, 12, and a... I said a 9. 9. Uh, no, none of you are well, familiar. my real dice roll better. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Uh, 18. You've seen it before. Okay. You think it's over towards uh, the southwest region of the dock. Right, right. Because I mean, you have tripped over it before. God, Probably. Wait. What does he want this for? He wishes to study it. My dear, in my studies at the Grand Academy, I have had the opportunity. <laughs> He's, he's pretty much going to do that to you the whole time, anytime you ask him a question. In case you don't realize, he's on sabbatical from the Grand Academy, where he hey, teaches heroes. I'm going to elbow my and be like, we really don't want to drink from this one. He'll put you to sleep. I'm starting to think he's on the spectrum or something. <laughs> so he keeps repeating himself. Nice. <laughs> well, I suppose since we have to wait for an hour anyway, we could look around. With a 17, he notices your skepticism, fiddles around, finds his pocket, and pulls forth a leather bag. Would gems help you locate it for me? That was Perhaps. in a pocket, right? Not just down in your pants? No, it's in a small bag. Oh. Small <laughs> I'm like interested in the gems. 
Yeah. Considering you're only getting paid 50 gold pieces to bring this box of shit back to your patron, <laughs> eh, maybe you go ahead and supplement your income. It sounds like quite a few gems. For Damn. I, Mortimer J. Sneed, instructor at the Grand Academy, need some assistance. Well, I mean, my, if you want to inspect his sack, I mean... <laughs> Go. What am I to say? Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <It's> Collaborate. <laughs> that's the wrong. Oh, that's the wrong artist. Yeah. Any young viewers going? The what? fuck are they <laughs> I'll trust his sack to be what he says it is. And uh, since we're here, we can look around. You said that you thought you'd seen it before. Zadar feels that he's tripped over it. He doesn't Where? remember exactly because the plaza is quite large, but he thinks not here, right? But over here, here, not here, not here, over there somewhere. So then we go over there. He continues right. to drag his satchels uh, over. They, uh, if the other satchel is as full as the one that he dropped, uh, he's got a lot of documentation. Uh, from the Grand Academy, where he is currently on sabbatical and teaches heroes. Don't they have uh, so locker rooms here or, or lockers here on this he, dock? You can tell he is fresh off the boat. <laughs> and, and there might be quite a few, judging from the dock hand's annoyance at trying to get the passengers off that you heard a few minutes ago. So you can relatively assume that there might be some kind of sabbaticalizing bullshit going on and you've got a conference of professors here. Oh, son of a bitch. Spring break, See, I yeah. told you it'd be easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you guys want to go over to the southeast and take a look around? Sure. Yeah. Everybody give me investigation rolls to see if you can find the Stone of Destiny. Oh, wait. Rock of Ages. Sorry. Wrong, wrong. wrong scenario. <laughs> That's... Nope. Twenty-four. Ugh, Eleven. Uh, Zadar, yet again, trips over the goddamn stone, <laughs> looks down, and for the first time ever, really notices that this thing is chiseled stone. Uh, it is not natural, but the engraving is uh, not natural either. It well, seems to have been done by hand. <laughs> Uh, Zadar, you found it. Do you tell uh, Mr. Sneed uh, what you have found? Uh, yo, yo, Mr. <laughs> Professor, right here, right here. Mortimer, over here. Mortimer comes running over, trips, and spills yet again one of his satchels, spilling paper uh, and a variety of what would appear to be tools on the stones. He looks down. Oh, you have found it, the Rock of Ages. This is what the papers have shown. And he reaches down in, finds an old leather-covered tome, and holds it up. And in gold, partially dis uh, distraught lettering, it says Rock of Ages. Uh, this is an incredible find. I cannot believe the tomes were correct. Uh, the gods are with us today. Um, hmm. I need one more favor, and then I will let you go, for I, Mortimer J. Sneed, instructor but, at the... But, but, and then, we already completed this. I think you should pay us for this now. Yes, we yes, did. yes, I should, I should. Reaches into his pocket, flips... Six. Rose of the Raven, a small bag. Uh, give me a roll. Don't make it a one. D20. Uh, a, D, a D20? Mm-hmm. That's not a one. That's okay. a that's a thirteen. You catch it, uh, and it feels weighty. Uh, you look inside and you see a rather distinct collection of gems. They are a little bit on the small side, but it could rival the fifty gold pieces that you were going to get paid from the item at the sugar glider. He goes, "May I ask just one favor before you leave?" Yes. What's this? I I need to set up my experiment. Uh, I I have some some leggings here and I need to extrapolate a small wire. It, it will only take a moment and I, I will not bother you for I, Mortimer J. <laughs> Just do leggings? it. Okay, yes. Uh, he pulls out some copper wire in a spindle, almost like rope, and he starts to get these leggings, uh, pegs that fit together. 
Oh, okay, I know what so you're saying. Like a tripod or something. Yeah, he's putting right. together a tripod. Uh, he hands the wire to three. Uh, Zadar, he hands you one end of the wire uh, and asks you to stretch it around in a triangle around the stone while he fits the leggings together. This is going to be fantastic. Yo, I'm in. <laughs> I stand back. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to go wrong. Uh, he, he motions to odd even even uh rose of the raven uh ma'am can you hold part of that over there for me please while i get this legging ready what are you doing with this this will cordon off the area and allow me mortimer j sneak oh yeah yeah we know who you are and i go stand there and hold it okay <laughs> uh and he looks at my corona and he goes uh my lovely dear if you could hold the other end i am almost done with the leggings mm, i don't think so i think I'll ask someone else here on the dock to hold it while I observe. Uh, they have been listening to Mortimer J. Sneed, professor at the Grand Academy for quite some time. You guys are alone in the area. They are giving you a wide berth. Uh -oh. However, you do see a group of questionable halflings headed your way with leering faces. Halflings? Halfling. Oh, halfling. Come this way. Uh, they see you. Uh, they see your height, and they begin to catcall you. I <laughs> ask them to come over. Uh, no, you have scared them. The hell? <laughs> they were catcalling you anyway. So he finishes uh, getting one of the leggings up, hands it over to Zadar. There's a little pincer in the center, and he says, go ahead and put your part of the wire in that peg and hold it right there. As soon as I get the other two done, uh, you're good to go. For I, Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand... Nah, 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 nah. Come I on. got it. <laughs> okay. My Corona, will you hold the last piece? I will not. Okay. Mortimer J. Sneed needs to hold it. Fair enough. Uh, Rose of the Raven, he finishes making the second one and hands it to you uh, and says, go ahead and do that. All right, I put it in. Two. Uh... He looks at my Corona, mm -hmm. sorry, mm -hmm. leans in, uh, finishes the last peg, sets it down, and starts to pull it a little taunt. Uh, Zidar, Rosa, give me d20 rolls, please. Just a straight d20? Straight d20. A 10? 10. Dead average. Zidar? Uh, 14. Uh, he rolled a 10 as well. As he rolls, uh, as he rolls it, my Corona, give me a perception check. 20. Clearly you see uh, that Mortimer J. Sneed, instructor from the Grand Academy, <laughs> has, done, has done something uh, remarkable. He has created a copper wire triangle around the Rock of Ages. But then you notice something unusual. Underneath his tunic is that small amulet that he showed you originally. And while he's leaning over, it works itself forward. As it dangles, you notice it touches the copper wire. A brilliant white light fills the dock area and you guys are blinded temporarily and find yourselves laying on your back. First Ooh. off, everybody give me a con check. Not a con <laughs> save, but a con check. A con check. Okay. As you just add, oh god, this will be twenty. Jesus, twelve. Okay, is it R? Uh, let's see. Con. Con. Sixteen. Con. No. Yo. Yo. Righteous. Ah, uh, my Corona, since you step back, you take zero damage. Zidar, you take zero damage. And Rosa, you have rolled high enough to also evade damage. Really? Yep. Each of you blinks your eyes and you see the blue sky above you and you feel the cold, wet uh, feeling of stone on your back. As you sit up and regain your composure, you also see that Mortimer J. Sneed, instructor at the Grand Academy, is also on his back, and he is blinking with his spectacles askew. <laughs> he reorganizes them and looks around behind you three. And he says, 
Ah. Motherfucker. Give me a perception check, all three of you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this would be good. Where the dice rolls fucking blue. Yeah, this one, too. Six. A nerdy 20. <laughs> On a new day. 12. 12 Corona? Mm-hmm. Corona, Zanar, you notice there are no ships in the water. God damn it. I knew this was going to happen. Rosa, you notice that it is a glorious day, just like it was five minutes ago. I'm still on my back looking upwards trying to get <laughs> senses. Oh, that one looks like a cow. <laughs> are there still people on the dock? I mean... No, there are not. Because... Whoa. There is no dock. Where are uh, we? well, Yeah, when you said wet ground, I was like, what? <laughs> the ocean is cascading itself up against an uneven rocky surface where you guys are. As you begin to look around, you notice large boulders are in the mostly flat area that used to be the plaza moments ago. There's large vegetation along a cliffside and a small set of caves in the corner. Mortimer, I don't think we're in cacophony anymore. Everybody give me an arcana check. I had a thought. Does it look like, I don't know, does it look like cacophony before it was developed? 16. You may, you may roll an advantage, Rosa. Three. Well, I rolled a nat 20 on the first one, so that's not going to really matter. Zadar and Rosa, you start to make out shapes. Not where are we, it's when are we. It is when are you. Uh, the high cliffs are reminiscent of where buildings once stood, including the high plateau. The chasm, there is a chasm or a canyon where you walk down through the market district to get to the dock. It appears as though it's not where, it is when you are. At that moment, Mortimer J. Sneed, instructor at the Grand Academy, goes, uh-oh, we Yo. are alone. I what? kick him. Oh, what's what up? What did you do? Yo. I, I, I do I not kick know. him. <laughs> I, hey, hey, no worries. Yesterday is history. I kick him. Today's a mystery, yo. We'll figure it out. He, he looks down and he goes, where is the Rock of Ages? I Pro kick him. <laughs> Probably in the future. Where I you was going to go to the club later, goddammit. This is troubling, but not as troubling as what is behind you guys. Uh -oh. I okay. turn slowly I turn. Step, step by step. step. Uh, as you guys slowly turn around, you notice Neanderthals are coming around. Uh, they carry long sticks <laughs> with like flint... Uh, attachments at the end. However, they all stop a safe distance from you, but hold their uh, implements menacingly until an older woman comes out covered in feathers. She's got a feather cape, a feather headdress, and she walks with a small cane. She approaches, the other Neanderthals move aside, and she comes up. Oh, mm, uh, mm, uh. I bow to her respectfully. Yeah. Sure. Uh, same. Mortimer steps in between all of you and goes, Hello, Mortimer J. Sneed. I am an instructor at the Grand Academy. I <laughs> create heroes. Mortimer, do you have anything useful to do? Like, I don't know, have a spell so you can understand what she's saying? I am not a spellcaster. <laughs> <laughs> I, am a, I am a scholar. Well, you better be a scholar and figure out how to get us back to where or when we were. I've got this. I've got this. He turns to the feathered woman and goes, Ooga booga, ooga booga. The feathered woman looks puzzled at him, turns oh, to wow. her people. Some guttural language answers them, and they move forward, but they dip their implements uh, so that they are not menacingly. Everybody roll perception check. Wow. Okay. Okay, oh. this is better. Much better. Six. Perce Six. Perception? Perception. I'm not very perceptive. 
Zadara and my Corona are still kicking. Mortimer J. Sneed, instructor from the Grand Academy, when Rosa hears a <laughs> and sees a dark shape come out of the sky. It flashes in behind the group of Neanderthals who spin around and hold their implements. But this enormous winged creature swoops down low and grabs an adolescent child and whisks it off towards the chasm. Uh, uh, the woman in the feathered headdress turns back to you and goes, oh, 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 oh. Uh, Can I try to get it with my javelin? Sure. At disadvantage. Is it uh, 60 feet away from me? It's almost 60 feet away since you and my corona didn't notice it. <laughs> Oh, it's too far away for me to... I don't have anything really rangy other than 13. Dagon. Uh, 13 is not going to get it. Okay. Uh, if it's uh, if it's a little less than 60 feet away, uh, I'm going to have it make a constitution saving threat. 18 plus 13 is 18. You said con? Yeah, con. Uh, 18 plus 1, 19. Well, that beats it. <laughs> okay. uh, you can see the adolescent wiggling in its claws. And again, the feathered woman goes, oh, oh, oh. Is it a dragon? It is not a dragon. Is it a rock? It is not a rock. It is called, even though you will not know what it is. Yeah, I, I, my care, I will have no clue. Even a though. Quetzal. Hopeless. Oh, God. Uh, it is a large prehistoric bird uh, with a large beak that can swallow its prey. Uh, nice. Everybody give me insight checks, please. Wait, are we in Mexico? It's not It's not the... Then wing it's snake. not a quick saddle. It's not yeah. the winged snake. Oh, okay, 16. Yeah. 16. Uh, what is... What check? Insight. Six 10. 16. Uh, all three of you are high enough to realize that the feathered woman wants you to give chase and rescue the kid. Uh, I figured that anyways, you know, without the check. You also notice that the, uh, I will say, gatherer cavemen uh, do not seem eager to chase that beast down. You're going to have to weave your way through a substantial amount of large boulders on what will be the dock at Cacophony uh, and chase that damn thing into the chasm where it probably lives. Let's go. <sighs> Might as well. He's going to fix this. We can't help him anyway. So what's uh, the uh, Mortimer uh, goes, uh, uh, I am Mortimer J. Sneed and I am a scout. <laughs> I will remain behind. Yeah, you will stay here and you will fix the shit. I will try and come up with an answer. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, you try, you will come up with an answer, or I will skewer you. We come back uh, and we'll grab you and trade you for the child. The uh, feathered woman looks at Mortimer J. Sneed, looks at you three, and goes, Oh, oh, oh. I, um, I summon my familiar, uh, a hawk. And okay. send send it flying in the direction of the bird beast. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, the speed's not very good, but it is good enough to go ahead and zip into the canyon. Uh, so you're going uh, prehistoric like. Uh, you guys are going to have to run and dodge uh, boulders that are not falling, which is a good thing. But I will take three dex checks from each of you. Uh, let's go with the first dex check, please. Oh, that one's actually good. Dex check, right? 21. Yep. Uh, 12. 21. Dark. All three of you uh, skirt by the first one, uh, putting your hand on it and moving past it in a nice Starsky and Hutch move. Second one. 13. Ooh, 10. 16. Uh, as the dog starts to fall behind as he hits a loose patch of soil. Third, third and final check as you reach the canyon. 16. Uh, 14. I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> uh, 14. Uh, you're still a little bit behind, but you are catching.
catching up quickly, Zadar. As okay. all three of you go into what used to be a nice paved street of cobblestone, you realize that this is an uneven mess at this time in history. Uh, it is filled with small ledges, and you're going to have to hop and climb up uh, to where the marketplace will be. Everybody give me a perception check. I'm finally getting better here. All oh, right, that's seven. Six. Rosa, as my Corona and Zudar enter the chasm with you, you are the only one to notice there are small caves up high on this natural canyon, and you see eyeballs start to peek out ahead of you guys you see the enormous beast flapping its wings almost touching the sides of the canyon and all you can hear is ah! as the child screams unintelligently Wait. but at least he's not saying he's mortimer j steed, steed. Sort of <laughs> how old is the child now, the I child was... is a teenager so he's useful funny. enough to get beer all right That's point out the caves and the eyeballs up there. Zadar and my Corona, uh, Rosa the Raven is blah, 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 blah. Do you want to listen to what she's saying? I think she's saying she's Mortimer J. Sneed. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll listen to her. Or ignore me if you want. Uh, but Z Zadar? I'll, I'll listen to what she's saying. Uh, very good. Zadar, you're, you're uh, familiar, also sees what Rosa does, and that is eyeballs coming out of these caves. Uh, Zadar, what is your familiar's AC? Ooh, my familiar's AC is... Well, that doesn't sound good. Uh, yeah, it's probably not. Uh, is uh, 13. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My familiar got us in trouble. <laughs> uh, let's see. Three. Initiative. I was uh, going to say, geez, that five. was a sneak. That was a terrible roll. Eight. I suck ass you tonight. Suck. Uh, you, uh, today, dice friggin' hate me. They always hate me on the show. Uh, Petrodons come out of the caves and they are not happy that there is food whizzing past them, but they all spot you guys. And you know what that means? Food's on the menu. Uh, uh -oh. First off, let's see if I can knock out the familiar. Bless you. Uh, that is a 13 plus 3, 16. 16? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> on your uh, familiar? That yeah, hits. Um, yeah, that hits. Uh, 2d4 plus 1. It's gone. <laughs> Does it have one hit point? Uh, 5 plus 1. Six hit points? Uh, yeah, but uh, the hawk's gone. <laughs> Poof. Poof. Uh, I, you, you called that, by the way. You said your familiar was going to die. Yep. Hey, he'll come back. Uh, my Corona, you have one. Now, keep in mind, the Petrodons are just like fighter jets so they're going to hit and run there is no attack of opportunity on these things you'll get the attack as they whiz by that's it uh and that's how it's written so that's that's not a me thing uh my corona your petrodon Whew, seven plus three ten uh zadar three plus three is six and rosa 13 plus 316. Naturally, you'll hit me. Oh, okay. I, di I honestly didn't think I'd hit you with that shitty roll. I don't have a high AC. I just have leather in my... Oh, wait. I should actually have... It, it still hits. It's 15. Okay. Uh, six hit points of damage as it pierces. Uh, we will start with Rosa on her return strike since she got the eight. Go ahead and hit. Okay. So, as I said, new class who this... Um, apparently, I can actually. Hit, apparently, I get an attack of opportunity. Not attack of opportunity. <laughs> apparently, I get sneak attack no matter what, as long as it's within melee range. It will zoom to hit you in melee range. So, do I get both attacks with two weapons or one? Uh, I assume you get two attacks with the one weapon because you are. Oh, wait, well, do I get a both my? Do I get a bonus action against it? going by or is it just going by too fast i'll give you a bonus action next round okay so i'll just do one this round oh that's pretty good that's um 21 
I assume 21 hits. Easily. All right. Easy to hit. There. Quasi easy to kill. Plus 2d6. I really like swashbucklers, by the way. That is cocked. All right. So that is six plus three is nine points of damage. Nice. Okay. Nice. Doesn't kill it, but nice. Hey, great. Uh, oh, really? Next up is five. Zidar, you're up. Okay. Hiding among my peers, I'm going to fire a crossbow at it. My bird! <laughs> God damn it, my bird. My bird. Okay. 18. Does 18 hit it? 18 hits it. Okay. Uh, Easy to hit these things. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is initially uh, 11 points, and since I'm among my peers, I believe sneak attack applies too, since does I'm hiding. Sneak, does sneak attack only occur when it's already engaged in melee? No. Uh, no. Or, no. If he's hiding like he, if he's sneaking, uh, it basically it should make her a check versus his stealth. And if it doesn't spot him, yes, he does get sneak attack. It, well, it did miss him. And that's a three on its spotting. So, yeah, I'll give you the sneak attack damage. Oh, okay. All right. So it's 11 initially. And. Let me read it. Uh, followed by uh, 12 points uh, after that. Uh, your crossbow bolt finds its mark, and you shoot a bolt up its anus and bring it down into the cavern wall. My Corona, you're up. 16. 16 hits. Uh, how far away is it? Uh, you will get a melee attack as it zips by, but it's not inverted. Or you can use the bow attack. It doesn't matter either or. Uh, you can let it attack you. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Hang on, I've got to find my die. Eight. Plus two, so four. Not good enough. Uh, more screeches fill the air as two more come down. They are going to focus in on five, Rosa the Raven, and four, Zadar. Okay. Rosa, Zadar, Corona, Rosa. Uh, as the other two, other three, the other two make their swing attacks, they are quite agile. Uh, also, since your bird is not in play, one of those new ones uh, still has feathers flying from its beak. <laughs> uh, my Corona, you got one. Four plus three, seven. Uh, Zadar, you have one. Okay. Uh, seven plus three is ten. Uh, mm -hmm. Rosa, you have two. Oh, you just screw me over, too. That, uh, three plus three is six, and nine plus three is twelve. I don't think I hit you on no. any of those. No, uh, but I can't sneak attack it now because now there's two within five feet of each other, I'm sure. Uh, oh, yeah, they're they're flying in a line. So we'll start with Rosa with the eight initiative. Go ahead. Okay. So I do not I do not get sneak attack, but I assume I can get one attack on each one of them. I would assume so. All right. So as you swashbuckle your way through it, uh, even that... Mortimer J. Sneed, instructor at the Grand Academy, would he? That. <laughs> so well, I assume you need at least a 10, right? I need a 13. Oh, uh, well, the third one of them will hit because it was a 13. Okay. So, Are you hitting the one that you hit before or the new one? Sure, I have the one I hit before. Uh, okay. Oh, that's good damage, though. So 11 points of damage. Uh, your slashing attack is suitable enough to slap off its head and send its body into a tailspin just over Zadar, who is hunkered down with his crossbow. Zadar, uh some kind of slimy leathery no feathers on these things uh flap over your head uh you want to take a shot at somebody else uh sure i'll take a shot okay uh, not with that. oh okay not not bad i thought 
I thought it was one, but it's a seven. So, oh, okay. Uh, 15. 15. Uh, 15 hits. Okay. And it is going to be, uh, yeah, a big whopping six points of damage. Okay. Do I get the sneak attack advantage? Uh, you didn't get it the first round, right? Uh, I did get it the first round. I'll go every <laughs> other round. Okay. No problem. <laughs> I think what the deal is, you have to rehide. And the way sneak attack works, as I went back and read it, is you have to have something that gives you advantage. Now, to watch bucklers, apparently we don't need that. But if you're basically if you attack from a stealth position, then yes, you have advantage. So okay. that's what. Fair I'm enough. gonna I'm gonna bonus action, uh, take the cunning action and hide. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my Corona, you're up. Twenty. Nat 20? Yes. Uh, you can roll your damage dice twice and then add your modifiers. Okay. We'll go with those house rules this time. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll kind of try and keep that house rule solid. What way? The, by using the normal rules? Yes. <laughs> I got eight on my first roll. Okay. And... If you got more than one on your second roll, you're good. <laughs> okay, I got six. Uh, another leathery beast flops down near Zadar, who is trying to hide. Uh, you got shit falling out of the air, <laughs> and you notice that the cavern walls are very high. Uh, the screeching is echoing through the canyon at this time. We have uh, a total of two left. The other... Uh, Petrodons uh, seem to be content with guarding the nest. I have one on Rosa. 11 plus 3 is 14. That does not hit. And Zadar. 15. 10 plus 3 is 13. That's that hit. Uh, back to Rosa the Raven. You are up. One is zipping past you at this time. All right. So it's, it's only one. Now I get if I hit. I get sneak attack. Oh my frigging, that's, that's a 10. That's not going to hit. Zadar, you're up. Uh, give me your stealth check to see if you successfully hit. Okay. Uh, feeling stealthy. Uh, 18. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. You have managed to hide yourself in a uh, separation in the rocks, and you okay. will get your sneak attack this time as okay. the Petrodon whizzes past. Awesome. All right, I'll take a shot. And that is probably not a 10. Mrs. Uh, my Corona, you notice that both Zadar and Rosa's uh, flying beasts are headed straight for you. I will give you an attack on one of them. You may choose Zadar, Odd, or Rosa, Even. How close are my people? Uh, you guys are in a line, essentially. <laughs> Okay. Or a staggered line. And actually, Zadar is hiding in a crevice. Okay. A true hero. <laughs> <laughs> Rogues, man. <laughs> uh, 11. I'm up there. Uh, eight, even. You're going after Rosa. Uh, and an 11. Mm -hmm. You guys all miss. New round. Uh, the birds go up. The birds come down. They are headed back at you. First one, Rosa. Uh, two plus three is five. My rolls are shit. Uh, 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 Fifteen plus three, that's an 18. Damn, that hits. They slice you. Slice you like a bitch. Four double ones, so three damage. Okay. <laughs> they don't much slice you as a bitch so much as knock shale off. Uh, no. Rosa the Raven, uh, yours comes whizzing past and misses you. Take your best shot. All right, so this Hit will be with the, your best shot. This will be the two attack round. I'm fucking pissed with my dice. I think nice. that's it. Let's see. Where's my D30? I'll switch. That's to that. a 24. Jesus, that's much better. And then I'm going to roll for the second attack. I think those are both going to hit. 13, you imagine. Two, two 24s. <laughs> that is. Holy crap. It hits twice. I'm going to freaking make mince meat of this thing. Let's see. A short sword is a D6. And then plus those. Yeah, that's not bad. 10. Well, that's not bad at all. 16, 17, and 3 is 20. 
points. The creature seems to hit Rosa, uh, the raven's blade, dead on, and both sides go in opposite directions. Uh, actually, yeah, it's two blades, uh, so we put them up and... Yep, it is an X. There are four chunks of bird here. <laughs> Vidar, you're up. Uh, you've been spotted, so no sneak attack this round. Okay, it's going to have to make a con save. I'm going to cast Frostbite on it. Nine plus, what am I rolling for? Uh, Fifteen. Uh, oh, wait. con, con. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, actually, oh, no, that's wisdom minus four. Uh, <laughs> con plus two, so 11, so it does not make it. Okay. It is going to take uh, a whopping two points of frost damage, uh, but it's going to be at disadvantage on uh, any melee attack that it makes next attack. Uh, my Corona, a white Petrodon is headed right for you, a little bit on the wobbly side. 19. Hits. You can do it. How much? Nine? Mm -hmm. Eleven. Uh, still alive. And it ain't coming back. It flies up and over the chasm. Uh, everybody, perception checks. You coward. All right. Perception. 18. I guess I'll use the dice roller. It likes me a lot better than my dice do. <laughs> Eighteen. Fourteen. All three of you uh, catch the tail end of the creature you are chasing as it has reached the top of the canyon and starts to bank left. Uh, I will take straight up d20s from all three of you, indicating who's making it up the chasm first, second, and third. Six. Deuces. Numbers. What is this? Just two. Uh, ten. Rosa, with her swashbuckling ability, manages to scamper up through the uneven chasm first, followed by my Corona and Zadar, bringing up the rear, probably got stuck in the crevice he was hiding at and or looking at the dead Petrodons. Uh, Rosa, as you almost reach the lip you hear a god awful screech uh and you notice that the creature takes a hard left but at an unusual angle almost as though it is going down you run a few more yards climb up you get to the top of it and you see an unusual sight you see uh five Four uh, Neanderthals, uh, they are wearing skunk pelts. It almost looks as though they're wearing pinstripes. Oh, if you uh, saw the first cacophony episode. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, these cavemen, one of them is doing this, like he has just thrown something. Uh, they turn and look at you and are puzzled. <laughs> uh, the one that heaved something takes off to your left out of your view the other three cavemen do not seem happy to see you they advance and they grip large naughty clubs Zadar, uh, can you change into a female neanderthal with big boobs i'll have to like <laughs> you know make it not obvious that i'm changing so i'll have to take the cunning action and hide uh, Rosa, you see it. My Corona, you see it. My Corona, you tell Zadar, hey, give us boobs. Uh, and he is not yet up there. So Zadar, they have not okay. seen you. You have not seen them. You aren't really, you know what? Give me an insight check to see if you understand what my Corona wants you to have boobs for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obviously, right. I do. <laughs> 19. <laughs> You uh, you and my Corona have been on enough adventures, you realize there must be trouble a-brewing. Uh, yeah. so it's she, time to shift. <laughs> she tells you become uh, Raquel Welch out of 10,000 BC. Pretty uh, much, yeah. 
uh, Rosa My Corona Initiative. Can't do anything to stop this. Oh. Twelve. Uh, gee, that's what happens when I go back to rolling dice. That's a seven. Uh, Zadar, go ahead and give me your roll for next round, please. For next round? Mm -hmm. uh, just straight up. To... Initiative. Oh, initiative. Okay. Initiative will be uh, 19. Very nice. Uh, you, form of boobs. Boobs. <laughs> the 12, my corona. Uh, you notice that the cavemen are advancing. These guys look a little bit burlier than the individuals back down on the dock, and they're carrying clubs. You can't really tell if they're the same tribe or a different tribe. So however you want to react to this is up to you. Remember, one of them has already run left. Uh, they're looking at us. They're coming towards us, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gripping their clubs. I grab Zadar and bring him next to me. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> they're going to quickly advance because they have the ability to not rampage, but speed up. Oh. <laughs> uh, my Corona, Rosa, D12, high roll gets the second attack since they haven't seen Zadar yet. Yeah, what's a D12 in this thing? She rolled a 20. For a D12? No, I mean Corona did. I could see that look on her face. Oh, the, I rolled a two on the D12. My Corona? One. Oh, a one. Oh, okay. Rosa, you get the second one. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Party D, I, I, you know, I mentioned we should probably have a healer. <clears throat> no healer, huh? Uh, <laughs> copper is my Corona. Oranges are Rosa. Huh. Not much. Uh, lowest one is an 11 on Rosa. Highest one is a 19. Uh, on my Corona, 13. The 19 will, uh, will hit, uh, the 11 will miss. Corona hits me. Bad. Oh, no. You've got the 13. Oh, okay. I'm good. So 13 misses you? A club comes down as you reach back just in time to miss the strike and grab a hold of uh, Chicky Zadar. Rosa, one smacks in front of you, but one hits you, and it is going to take eh, four hit points of damage, minimal damage, uh, but it rocks your world. Uh, we will now go with Rosa, or no. Did you have the 19? Oh, you had the 10. Oh, I have a friggin' 7, I think. Uh, 10, I... Eh. No, I rolled a 1, so that's a 7. Oh, that's right. Yes, yeah, so you are up. You catch out of the side portion of your eye that Boobs McGillicuddy is uh, headed up to the combat. Okay. <laughs> I know, I'm debating whether or not I want to friggin' hit this guy back. I'm going to hit... Get two within five. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the one in front, the one that just did all that damage to me. Hold on. That's my rapier. All right, I'm uh, 17. Oh yeah, easily. All These right. guys are wearing skunk armor, for God's sake. <laughs> uh, for nine points of damage. Mm, nicely done. However, that is the end of the round as Boobs McGillicuddy comes up. Everybody hey, needs to roll. Do I get a move? Uh, there's nowhere to move. You are in oh, the man. lip. Okay. Yeah, they, they caught you at the mouth. Uh, everybody roll a con save. Save? Uh -oh. Con save. Okay. This Ten is or better. That is a yeah, I think that's an 11. Yep, Four. that's an 11. 10. Zadar, Rosa, you are uh, un, unbridled by their pinstripe skunk apparel. Oh, but no. You'll be fighting at disadvantage because the noxious fumes are quite overpowering on the one that's against <laughs> you. 
Uh, we will start at the top of the order, and that is going to be Boobs McGillicuddy, a.k.a. Zadar Rob Ice Van Winkle. Um, <laughs> boobs, what you got for me? I do a twirl, stick around, hello, boys, and shake them out there to them. <laughs> Oh, the performance check. If it's really bad, you're going to trip and boing yourself down the chasm. Okay, let's hope that. I <laughs> God. Ooh. Okay. This is good. Twenty-five. Yeah. Yours is suitably impressed, and uh, we'll see what he does next. My Corona, you're up. nine uh not good enough to hit uh it's their turn so i will go with rosa you now have oh one my god this is bad this is really 12 fucking... plus four is 16 yep and my corona 10 plus four is 14 nope uh zadar uh your guy looks at you smiles and then gets angry Aw. But he seems to be focused on your cleavage, so he's going to fight at disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> uh, his low roll is a 21. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to club you over the head and pull you by the hair, I think. <laughs> can, can I cut in action now or anything? Or is that a... Uh, that's a reaction, right? That, yeah. Uh, you've already done your turn, so you okay. can't do that. Uh, it is a 21. Okay, so yeah, that hits. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rosa and Zadar. Whoo. Uh, five hit points each, as the damage is still rolling low. <laughs> this is really bad, guys. Uh, you know, you guys are third level, so each one of you will have a potion of healing. 1d8 plus 2. My apologies, I forgot. It's been a wild night tonight, so I'm a little <laughs> bit off. Uh, so if you need the potion, you've got a potion. Each one of you has the potion. Okay. Uh, I've gone. I've gone. Uh, right. Last but not least, Rosa the Raven, you are up. Uh, you have one. Zadar appears to be in matrimonial pursuit, and my Corona also has one. I think I'm happy and now suddenly only have one instead of two. I will take that because I don't think I could take a beating from two people right now. Uh, I will make my two attacks. So we, is it safe to say that we're not within five feet? Is any other enemies within five feet of me? No, no. you guys are all paired <laughs> off. You're still stuck in the mouth, but you're paired off. Why do I friggin' do this? But you know what? I think these are both hit uh 19 and that was at 12 14 is your magic number for these guys that skunk <laughs> armor really helps because <laughs> the first one so it's the bigger damage one uh, that wasn't great that's 10 13 points that's not bad along with the nine you did before yeah not bad uh <laughs> That brings us to my Corona. First, go ahead and roll your constitution save. See if you're used to it or not. God, none of my dice work tonight. I know. Uh, I'm... Seven. Nope. Still rolling at disadvantage. Go ahead. Seven. <laughs> Uh, I think I went out of order. Maybe you did. I think I did. Zadar, uh, you're you're up, and we'll call this the top of the order. Okay. All right. So I this... think my Corona just got two attacks. Okay. So it doesn't matter. She missed. So uh, top of the order. Go ahead, Zadar. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. So that's me. Um. Given the producer extra benefits. Yeah. <laughs> you, should. you sleep with her. Yeah. Um, say, um, the curb if you don't. All right. He's going to have to do a con save again. Or... Uh, these guys have better con. They yeah. get plus two. 15? 
Oh, he just makes it. Okay. So. Uh, next up is the 12, my Corona. Now go ahead and roll your con save again. Let's get back on track. Ten. Uh, the wave of nausea passes. You can now roll normally. Go ahead and make your attack. Nine. Swing and a miss. Now it is up to them. Uh, we'll go with my Corona. Whew. Two plus four is six. Uh, Zadar, let's see if your husband likes you. <laughs> Ten plus four is 14. Uh, 14 misses. Rose of the Raven. Seven plus four, 11. Oh, thank God. That misses. Uh, Rose of the Raven, you are up with your seven initiative. <laughs> yeah, my mighty seven. All right, so two attacks, because I'm going to blow my bonus action on hitting. Oh, are you kidding? Now the dice roller's against me. That's a net one. Woo! But, oh. <laughs> Great. Oh, wait, the other one's a net one, but there's nobody. What, I hit myself and knock myself out? Uh, or lose your weapon. Which do you want, yourself odd or even, and the other one is lose your weapon? You want to do by dice rolls. The other one does hit. Okay. I so, guess I'm, all right, I guess I'll roll damage on that first. Yep. You kill him. Okay, so that would have been sad. That, that would have been 13, 16. Yep. Please throw your weapon and have to retrieve it. Oh, <laughs> odd even. Which one do you want to hit yourself with? Uh, <laughs> no, it's even. So, uh, as your caveman falls, your second swipe goes up and over his head and into the grass beyond. You have to take a round to retrieve it unless you have a second weapon available, and then you can enter melee at that time. Top of the order is Zidar. Uh, Zidar, those boobs are really bringing the boys to the yard. Boys to the to yard. The yard. Okay. Dugs are, he is zoned in on those babies. Okay, all right. You wife, you wife. <laughs> you wife, you wife. Okay, uh, I am, oh, this is such, such a, a gamble, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, I cast Silent Image and I make one stand behind him uh, with even bigger boobs and I'm like <laughs> Persuade me Okay <laughs> Oh god Okay, gotta wait for it 21 He turns and looks <laughs> uh, Up to the 12 and My she's... Corona <laughs> Silent is the way to go. These guys can't understand language. <laughs> Twelve. Uh, Twelve is not good enough to hit. Uh, caveman. Uh, Zidar, yours. <laughs> Licks his eyebrow and attempts to club the one behind him. If I hit, will it dispel it? Uh, probably, yeah. Or he'll have to investigate to, to make it goes away if he discerns that it's not real. So. Oh, okay, so that's intelligence, right? <laughs> intelligence roll, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big shock there. Uh, there's a minus associated. <laughs> uh, 14 minus 2 is 12. 12? Uh, let me see what my uh, spell DC is. Oh, he fails. Okay. Uh, he licks his singular eyebrow and smiles broadly at the fact that he's about to have two wives. Two wives. <laughs> uh, on my Corona, uh, that is a 17 plus four. That's 21. That's going to hit. And on Rose of the Raven. Wait, this, mine's down. So. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yours is down. Uh, <laughs> I need to go do something on my turn. So. Yes, you'll need to go get your weapon. Uh, my Corona suffers. Jesus Christ. Uh, four hit points of damage when you get back to your character sheet. Uh, new round. Everybody go ahead and roll Perception. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, perception is 16 for Z Zadar. 15? Rosa, do you want me to roll yours? 
Uh, that is a 15 plus whatever. All three of you hear a god awful shriek oh, come no. from we forward really? and left. Thanks for that. Uh, top of the order, Zidar, uh, you will be able to attack uh, him from the blind side. I'll give you advantage. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. And sneak attack, too. Uh, I'll yeah. Give you a sneak attack. Okay. For that. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to shiv this mother. <laughs> nice. Your, your future husband. Yeah. Hey, I mean, oh, well. <laughs> it's not that great. A miss. An what? eight. Even an advantage? Yeah. Oh, um, at advantage? Oh, I'm yes. sorry. Oh, okay. That's why I was saying you have sneak attack because you have advantage. Okay. Uh, this is better. 24. Oh, yeah, that hits. Okay. He is Murder gonna... him! Uh, gonna oh, try. Uh, never had a chance. Take a, a, a whopping six points of slashing damage. He's going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is going to be pissed. It's foreplay. <laughs> God. Uh, next up is my Corona, who got hit last round. Nineteen. Nineteen hits. Apologize, my eyes are starting to go. <laughs> yeah, mine too. Uh, plus two. That's because you're a year older. That's right. Carol. Five. Carol had a birthday yesterday. Five. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe for a couple of years now. Uh, we will go to uh, me. Uh, Zadar, he's going to come after you. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like, ah. So, my Corona first. One, uh, you will have advantage on your next attack against him. Zadar, uh, 11 can, plus can I, 4, 15. 15 hits, but can I cunning action dodge? As your I, reaction? Mm hmm. Uh, Is that you? How, how many cunning actions do you get? Uh, cunning action for uh, the rogue. Uh, you, you take a bonus that oh, it's on my. I gotta wait for my turn to okay. dodge. Yeah, and it's only, and I think at third level, it's only dash, disengage, disengage, or high dodge is a reaction you get. I think at like fifth level. Oh, okay, gotcha. Never does mind. The, does the fifteen hit you though? Yeah, fifteen. No, fifteen misses. <laughs> there you go. So you didn't need it anyway. Uh, okay. Last but not least, Rosa, who is weaponless. Okay, well, that's probably just as well. So I'm going to go pick up the weapon, and I believe you said taking a potion is a bonus action in your world. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that as a bonus action, and I'm going to, that'll be my turn, because I am really fucking right, and we are not going to have an hour to rest. Rosa runs up, grabs her weapon, flips off the cork of her potion, starts to guzzle it, looking over to her left, and you see a skunk-clad individual go into the enormous bird uh, that has a javelin sticking through its wing. Yeah, do I still see the kid? You do not see the kid. Oh, no. Is the kid screaming? Uh, the only thing screaming is skunk boy. Uh, you know what, Rosa? Give me a perception check at disadvantage. Let's see if you see something else. I, I think what we see is like a Harryhausen film or something like that. I think it's a Russ Meyer film with you. <laughs> For those right. of you who don't know what Russ Meyer films are, Google it. Google it, yeah. Disadvantage, huh? Yep. Well, that worked out really well anyways. The low roll was a 20. You see an individual on a lizard kind of behind the giant bird. Is he doing something? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Know. Next up is the 12, my Corona. <laughs> <laughs> I love cutting Carol off. That was my turn, right? That was your turn. Then you've screwed up the order again because I'm on a seven. Ah, damn it, I did. <laughs> that's, that's okay. After I attack, that'll be your turn and you'll be fine. My Corona. Three. 
Swing and a miss. Uh, I'll go. I have one on my Corona, one on Zadar. My Corona, 15 plus four is a 19. Uh, ooh, 19 plus four, uh, 23 on Zadar. Yikes, that hits. Hit low. Both of you take five hit points of damage okay. as I crush you. Rosa runs up, grabs her weapon, chugs her potion, looks over, sees Skunk Boy sliding down the throat like a wet oyster, and beyond, there's somebody on a lizard. Uh, top of the order is Adar. Okay, uh, I am gonna frostbite uh, Fred Flintstone, so <laughs> he's gonna have to make a con save. That ain't gonna make it. Okay. <laughs> Unless uh, six plus whatever makes it. Okay, he is gonna take... Uh, he's going to take uh, five points of uh, frost damage or cold damage, okay. and he's going to be disadvantaged, and I'm going to bonus action hide. Gotcha. Uh, Twelve, trying to stay on track. My Corona. Twenty. Nat 20? Yes. Double your uh, damage dice and add your modifier. She's swinging a mean blade when she hits. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Crap. Eight plus two, so that's uh, nine. Eight plus two. Huh? It's ten. Did you say eight plus two? No, I was. Uh, I doing got a math seven. in your head. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so nine. Mm -hmm. oh, you're whittling them down. And then 10. On top of that? Mm -hmm. uh, that puts him down. Yeah. Uh, your skunk boy falls to the ground with your blade slashing through him. Uh, that leaves only Zadar boobs. Uh, four plus four is an eight. That ain't going to make it. Uh, back on track, Rosa the Raven, you will be behind Zadar's target. So you will get advantage as well as sneak attack. Or oh. you can go investigate the lizard rider, or you can go investigate the enormous fucking bird on the plateau. All right. So now I'm going to tell, I'm going to take this guy out or try to. Uh, let's see. So. I'll do it one at a time because I have a. That was not what I wanted to roll. <laughs> one. The wrong. No, no. I hit a. I hit the. Um. I hit the damage first before I rolled the frickin' die. Come on. Awfully presumptuous of you. Right. It's a little slow. So that is a nineteen to hit. Well, that easily hits. I guess I'll. Let's see. Now I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll the damage. Yeah. Mortimer J. Sneed would suggest that you roll the hey. two hit first. <laughs> I miss Mortimer. Uh, yeah. I was like, 10 points of damage. That's for the first hit. He's that almost hit. dead. He's not down. Okay, so then I will roll with my short sword. Oh, at advantage, too. Good thing it's at advantage. Now, only one of your rolls is at advantage. Did you use oh, it? well, then that's what, you know what, just for fun sakes, because that was a one, that one goes flying too, because he ducks or something and... Ka-clang, 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 ka-clang. <laughs> well, it's not that far. <laughs> far enough. Uh, top of the order, uh, Zidar, my Corona, Rosa, the squealing has stopped. Uh, Zadar, uh, you managed to dodge Rosa as she throws her blade at you, by God. <laughs> at you. What the hell? <laughs> now, okay. is Rosa affected by the large-breasted chick behind or no? Is Rosa? Yeah, has, or is that spell done? I think that spell's done since I cast another spell. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh, go ahead, Zadar, you're up. Okay, uh, did I hide successfully? I Let's doubt it. He's, he's looking at you. Yeah, okay. Uh, 18 on my roll. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, no. he, he, sees, he, he is enchanted by your breastuses. 
Oh, okay, but he's still pissed. So. Oh, he's still well. He's not really pissed. He wants you as uh, his. Yeah, wife. yeah. No, I know that. No, and that's I... the ring finger. So you can do that. That's not gross. Okay, so that I'm is, gonna, that he wants. Yeah, he wants to put right, a ring on it. That was the ring finger. He wants yeah, to put a ring on it. That's okay. right. Hit him. So did he turn to look at me? So we'll know once Zadar does his shit. Yeah. So yeah, I shake him at him and all that. But yeah, I'm gonna try to spit some other. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on, roller. Twenty two. It's uh, okay. He is. Uh, let's see. Initially, he is gonna take. Oh, come on. Uh, seven points of piercing damage, and he's gonna have to make a con save. Con fifteen. Still alive. You yeah, suffocate him with your boobs. What's the con do? Uh, the con, I'm going to inject him with poison from the dagger. That's and... good. Uh, he only had three hit points left, so you inject the lifeless corpse of Skunk Boy. Okay. Uh, it was worth it anyway. Ro Rosa <laughs> shoulders her way past you to retrieve her weapon that she <laughs> threw at you. I swear to God, uh, she was targeting you. Sure. Uh, <laughs> All of the cave skunk cavemen are dead, including what Rosa knows, uh, the successful javelin thrower, Bruce Jenner, uh, has, yeah. has injured the enormous bird, which is to your left is all you know. Mm, and he ate both probably the kid and the and the uh, the skunk man there. And uh, oh, where's the uh, lizard rider? Because I'll point him out to them. Well, you're running down the steps to retrieve your weapon there, Fumble Fingers. <laughs> else is dead. So I, yell, I, I will yell back up to the, there's a, there's a lizard rider over, and I, as I'm running, I sort of point. Not a paperback rider, a lizard rider. Lizard rider. Lizard rider. Paperback rider. Uh, Zidar, my Corona, Rosa the Assassin is telling you that there's some kind of lizard rider up there. <laughs> Just calamity She's been Jane. hitting the hooch. That's right. <laughs> calamity Jane of medieval prehistoric world. Uh, mm -hmm. Zadar, my Corona, as you get there, the bird looks at you. You notice that there is a javelin still stuck in its wing, uh, and it is attempting to shake it, shake it, shake it off, baby, uh, <laughs> to no effect uh what would you two like to do first off you two need to give me a perception check as well okay now that the din of battle is over it'll just be straight perception nice okay uh 20. Uh, not natural uh, 17. both of you notice uh what appears to be a goblin on a lizard the goblin's holding a spear uh, it is beyond the bird and out of range. Okay, as an elf, I feel bad for the bird with the thing in its wing. It just ate a. We don't know teenager. that. We didn't <laughs> see it happen. Uh, Rosa grabs her weapon, sprints back up. All three of you are there. Everybody, perception check. Thirteen. Uh, seven. Fifteen. Rosa, my Corona, you hear a soft whimpering, as does the bird. And the bird stops glaring at you. Oh, no. And is apparently focused on something else. And it ain't the goblin rider. Peter back rider! Oh. Uh, everybody roll initiative. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if this works better. Thirteen. Okay. A lot better. Uh, twenty. Twenty-five. I got a five. Uh, you guys will be able to react before the giant big bird uh, goes after whatever the fuck is moaning. So twenty-five. Rosa the Raven. Do you want to stab Zadar or my Corona? What? Huh? You've been throwing no. your weapons at everybody. I figured that's what you wanted. No, I no. You said I heard the crying. Where's the crying coming from? Uh, behind a boulder. Yeah. Nearby. It, 
if you follow the gaze of the bird, you can pretty much figure out where that moaning's coming from. It seems to be parallel with the bird. You are here, perpendicular. The moaning is parallel. The goblin is in the back. How uh, many feet away is it? Uh, the bird? No, the crying. I'm going for the crying. Uh, hard to tell. Maybe 20 feet, maybe 25, <laughs> to, depending on Pythagoras. One. I want to make sure it's just one dash action to do it. So I'm going to dash over there. Let's see what it is, and I'll be I'll prepare myself to defend, defend give me, it. Give me a dex check as you uh, Bo and Luke Duke over the boulder. Hi, thank you for rolling up that. That looks like a dirty 20. Uh, you slide yourself over, tearing your uh, dungarees a little bit, uh, and land on solid surface with an adolescent child behind you and an angry bird in front of you. Doesn't look like a cardinal, but different kind of angry bird uh, <laughs> that's your action that's my, uh, I mean unless I don't know if I can basically ready an action to hit it if it comes within range because that yeah, was you, just yeah you, you can ready the action okay. uh, Zidar you watch uh, Bo and Luke Duke skid over the boulder the bird follows <laughs> uh, and seems to be focused on Rosa what would you like to do I am going to fire a shot at the bird. Bird's the word. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Twelve. Twelve hits. Ooh, okay. Twelve is its AC. All right, since it wasn't looking at me, do I get sneak attack? I'll get you sneak attack since uh, Rosa had it uh, refocused. Okay. All right, that's ten points of damage initially. Followed by the pain train, double sixes, 12. <laughs> so 22. Uh, my Corona, you've seen one of your colleagues rush forward. You've seen the other one take a shot. What would you like to do? Where's the goblin at? The goblin is beyond maybe 50 yards. Yeah, hearts. It, it appears to be watching from a safe oh, distance. Watch. You can hear it mumbling something, but you, you can't really tell what it is yet. Hmm. I approach the bird. Okay, go ahead. You'll be fast enough to go ahead and attack if you want. This thing does a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, no. 15. 15 hits. Well, I didn't want to hit it. I just wanted to approach it. Oh, okay. You can hit it, or you can approach it. As you approach, you notice that Rosa is standing between it and its next meal, the adolescent child that uh, was carried off by the cavemen. Zadar's already hit it. Rosa's about to hit it. Rosa, it's going to lean in on you. Okay. I, will, I will let you take your attack. All right. No, we're going to use the dice roll because it's doing so much better than my dice. My Corona, you do understand this is not a parakeet, right? I do. Well, okay. you said 12 hits, right? 12 hits. Okay, so because there's no other foes within five feet, I can sneak attack it. This is amazing. I get that this ability is amazing. Uh, that is 17 points of damage. Mm, nice. Thanks. Bird. It's pretty wounded. Uh, it is going to focus on you, even my corona. Or you know what? I'm kidding. It's you, you, three to four, it's going to go for the kid. Five to six, it's going to go no. to my. Oh, damn it. Who? Uh, if it hits, it hurts. I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 crit cam. Oh, <laughs> it nails you. <laughs> That's massive damage in the system. Uh, I, I'm just gonna roll straight up. No, no, no. Massive damage is if you do enough, you. 
It's like double your full hit points. I think. Oh, it's you're like, you're going to be yeah. grappled, and if you fail that roll, you're going to be swallowed, and that's where the real pain train comes. Oh, okay. So yeah, well, you, I'm probably going to be. How many hit points you got? Fourteen, man. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. You got two hit points. <laughs> oh, so I actually have hit points? Uh, give me a grapple check, please. What is a grapple check? I don't Strength remember. or dex? Strength or dex. All right, so I'm going for dex. Come on, damn it. Nope. Nope. I'm just going <laughs> to leave it at nope. Ah. Uh, my Corona Zadar, you see the bird open its maw. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, on, uh, can I on, throw her uh, my potion of healing? Uh, she's in the bird. Oh, damn it. Oh, we got to get her out. Follow him one round. Uh, yeah, it uh, successful target is swallowed. Uh, hey, you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Start. start Daggering your way up. Sharknado. The good Dance news off. is, if your colleagues do X amount of damage, you will right. be vomited. So right. we'll go top of the order. Uh, Rosa, give me an attack at disadvantage. Actually, I can do both attacks at disadvantage, right? One attack, you're getting swallowed. Oh, it's only one? Okay. Yep. You aren't going into Jonah's whale. You're going into a large bird. Mm -hmm. Make it count. I am. I make it really count. Come on, you stupid thing. Well, that'll probably the lowest roll was the sixteen. So that hits. Or fifteen. Sorry. Yep, still hits. Do I get sneak attack because I'm inside of this thing and really? Oh, it, you're it, not. Yeah. Knows you're there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Actually, it doesn't matter for me whether it knows I'm there or not. We'll right. go house rules. Yeah, no sneak attack. <laughs> Well, no, it's a class ability. I know that. You're also pinned in a throat. Well, good. Then at least I rolled uh, max stats 11 points of damage. That is very good for you. Uh, Zadar, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to fire Ice Knife at it. Okay, okay so I got to roll to hit. Okay, uh, natural 20. 26 nicely, total. Nicely done. Okay. So it is going to take uh, one d10 piercing damage. Remember, you reroll your damage dice, and then you add your modifier. OK. And... You need four to make it vomit. OK. Uh, 11. Uh, that is good enough. Uh, but Rosa... the knife explodes, so it's an extra 2d6. OK. Give me your damage total. Rosa, you are going to take one hit point of damage and be vomited out on top of the child. Uh, nine, nine points of additional damage. So 20? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, 19. 19 points of damage. Uh, got it. Uh, my Corona, your colleagues are... One of your colleagues is getting a shit kicked out of them. Uh, the other one's doing some massive damage. Do you want to pet the bird? No, or... I'm going to send my... <laughs> Potion of healing to yeah. Rosa, Rosa yeah. the Raven. Yes. Yeah. Are Are you gonna throw it at her? Oh no. <laughs> I can I can grab it. I'm gonna basically I'll my... hand it to her. Yeah. Uh, that'll be your entire action since you're handing it over That's to her. That's fine. Uh, and my turn. Yes. D six. That's a snake eye. It's going after my Corona. Thanks. That is an 18 plus 7. That is a 25. Uh, give me a DC 15 grapple. Your choice on the modifier. Oh, Lord. What does that mean? Uh, give me a D20 and add either your dex or your strength modifier, whichever is highest usually. Unless you like a challenge. Whoa, holy shit. And how many hit points do you have? Uh, I'm down to like 20. Oh, okay. Um, Good. 21. Uh, you are not swallowed, but you do take uh, 6 plus 4 plus 7. 
17 points of damage oh, as that Lord. thing spears right through you. Top of the order, Rosa. All right. Uh, hey, it D and D has consequences. <laughs> no, I'm just uh, I'm just thinking. How bad does it look? It's pretty bad. Uh, the uh, caveman attack uh, will will not allow it to uh, fly, and it suffered rather significant damage from that. You guys have done a total of fifty-eight hit points. It's pretty beat up. I'd say skip the potion and go for the attack. <laughs> yeah. Well, the miss. The kid is now screaming his head off. Again? Yeah, the uh, acid chick just landed on him. He's a teenager. He can't get up and fight for himself. Yeah. He doesn't have any weapons. I don't care. He can punch shit. Yeah, he's a pugilist. What'd you do, Rosa? Nothing. Punch you didn't drink a potion? The damn po no, I mean... No, if I if I blow all my attacks, that is my bonus action, so I can't take the potion. And if I, <laughs> he's in there, probably can't. So it can't do to me what it did to her at the moment. Got you, uh, Z Zidar. Uh, <laughs> you best do something. Yeah. Um... Can you split your potion between us? <laughs> oh. 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 And, and hang on, everybody, roll perception. No, oh, Lord. By the, way, by the way, I will. You know what? That's what I'm thinking of not, but I'm at one fucking hit point. Um, now the dice rolls are terrible on this are, thing. Are they, like, right next to each other? 20. Now she leaned in and handed over the potion. Oh, okay. Zadar, what's your perception? My perception is... Da, da, da. Please let it make it good. Okay. Uh, 19. Uh, Rosa, you don't hear it because you're semi-protected from audio perception. My Corona and Zadar, you now hear what the goblin is saying. Ooh, do. Ooh, do. Ooh, do. You're welcome, Kyle. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I'm supposed to bring Kyle and Blake on tonight. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, oh, they're probably uh, the, the sitting The goblin is pissed. a member of the Udu family. Uh, he wants teeth? Yeah. Well, Kyle, that's two for you. You uh, got time travel, you got Neanderthals, and you got Udu tribe. So that's right. You got uh, the go, hat trick. Go ahead, Zadar. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fire again, uh, crossbow at this bird. Hey, I was going to say, I'm actually meleeing if you want to friggin' whale on it with a sword. He's uh, He hasn't run up on it yet. I know. Uh, 15 I, hit? I uh, 15 hits. Okay. <laughs> he's a smart one. <laughs> and it is engaged with both my Corona and Rosa. So yes. that means sneak That's attack? Like a third target. Okay. So initially that is uh, nine points of damage followed by... Let's see. <laughs> Please roll high. Ooh, okay, not bad. Another nine, nine points of damage. Sneak attack damage. Very nice. My Corona, you're up. Oh god, get out of it. Five. Swing and a miss. Oh no. Three. Rosa. You're gonna kill me. Don't worry, it only gets Stop plus it. it only gets plus seven. <laughs> kill me. I've got this many hit points, man. Does an eleven hit you? No! I rolled a four. Ah. I say I'm dead. <laughs> what? How, yeah. how are you? How are you dead? Dead. How many hit points did you give me? None. None? None. Okay. No, it, it went after Rosa. Rosa. Oh, okay. Yeah. It went after Rosa and missed yeah. it. Uh, top of the order, Rosa, uh, you have a beak right between your legs. Ugh. Oh, God. Um... <laughs> all right try a rapier shot that's gonna probably hit it that's uh, 11 plus 5 is 16 that hits all right i'm gonna roll oh that's pretty good that's um that's all mm, 8 12 15 16 18 points uh wow nicely done zadar wait wait uh, wait wait it's not dead no. 
All right, that's, that's why I was waiting to see. All right, then I'm going to roll my second attack because I get two. Because I've got two weapon fighting. Right, uh, DM. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. I can't ever get a freaking 20, but I get a I wish I was playing a fighter with the freaking 19s of crits. So that's a 24 to hit. That hits. And this will be. Oh, that's nice. That's a bad six on the die. So that's uh, six more points of damage. 101. Go ahead, Zadar. Okay, I am going to bonus action Mage Hand a potion to my Corona. Okay. And, uh, yeah, uh, Big Bird's going to have to make a con save. My Corona, a ghostly hand appears. Uh, 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 what con save? Uh, 15. Uh, 11 is what oh. I rolled. Okay, it takes six points of frost. Um, sorry, I got to roll for that. I'm saying six points. Um, <laughs> uh, it is going to take <laughs> six points of frost damage, uh, and it's going to be disadvantaged on any melee attacks that it makes. My Corona, you're up. It didn't regurgitate her with all the damage I just did, did it? There's nobody inside it. Seventeen. Oh, she made she made her grapple. Go ahead. How much damage? Yeah, she made her grapple check, so she didn't get swallowed. Make it count, my. <laughs> uh, six. Damage. Yes. Uh, Zadar, you were at range, right? Mm-hmm. As my Corona delivers the death blow to it, the. Yes. Large bird starts to teeter and appears to be ready to fall oh. imminently. Oh no! <laughs> a, two, damn it. a two is Rosa and the child. A three is my Corona. The child. The child. No, both of us, I think. Or it falls backwards and oh, it, nice. No one. Uh, in the background, you hear, ooh, do, ooh, do, ooh, do, ooh, do. Uh, the child, with a fearful look, looks at Rosa, who has numerous injuries all over herself. Yeah, I'm a mess. And go ahead and give me a persuasion check, Rosa. Me? Yep. Mm -hmm. You're the closest one to the kid. Good one. Let's see. Jesus Christ. No, this is even failing me. That's only a 10. 10 is good enough. You put out your hand, and the child skeptically looks at you and takes your hand. And you, you also <laughs> notice that he... <laughs> oh, you got to earn that. Yes. <laughs> got to earn that, Rook. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen RIPD. You got to watch that. Yeah. Uh, Rosa, you notice that the child is pretty dinged up. My Corona, you're pretty dinged up. Do you want to take Zadar's potion? My Corona, what do you want to do? Wait, wait, I, have, I have not taken the potion yet. If there's. You have my Corona's. My Corona has Zadar's. Also, is there any reason why we can't rest for an hour? Uh. Um, ooh, do, ooh, do, ooh, do, ooh, do. Ooh, do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, we're going to have to play Potion. Uh, what is it? Potion Musical Cheers here? I guess I will take it then. My Corona, are you going to take <laughs> ours? Yes. 1d8 plus 2, no ones. Oh, that's good. I rolled an 8. Well, at least those type Four. of dice don't. 4 plus 2 and 8 plus 2. So 6 okay. back and 10 back. So, so Dr. you're the only yeah. one. Uh, quaffing a potion. Uh, what do you want to do about uh, this Udu goblin thing? Do we care? I mean, we always do is chanting Udu. I have no idea what that even hey, means. Hey, shut up. You're drinking a potion. <laughs> Zadar, what do you want to do about uh, this Udu person? Uh, oh. It has to come to me. Huh? <laughs> well, I, like not drinking. Uh, uh, I'm going to start shouting, ooh, do, ooh, do, ooh, do. Give me a persuasion check. Okay. Not very persuasive. Nine. It takes its spear and throws it 
Oh no! In front of its beast, turns around and starts to gallop off. Oh! <laughs> Apparently, it is giving you an offering of respect. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Rosa, when you got regurgitated, part of Skunk Boy got regurgitated as well. Not a whole lot because he was pretty acidic after that. Uh, Rosa is some healing. My Corona has some healing. Uh, adolescent, I guess, fuck him. No healing for him. Thank you. And, and Zadar has been offered a spear of destiny, apparently. <laughs> a spear of destiny. Uh, but... Zadar, you can go out and get it if you want, or you can leave it where it is. I'm going to go ahead and get it. Okay. Uh, it's an it's, offering of respect, so. It's got small feathers. Apparently, the goblin only attacks small things. Okay. But then there is a kind of string of some kind of uh, foliage like ivy mm -hmm. and wrapped inside the ivy are eh, let's see how many nine teeth <laughs> of course yeah. uh, oh. Rosa you feel a tug as the adolescent what so he, he wants to lead you back into the chasm okay just smack him and kill him. <laughs> well, okay, don't kill him, but just like, dude, really? We got all like this kids. work for you. As I go, can I make an insight check? Sure, go ahead. A very good insight, but well, that is if I can make this. Come on. There we go. Insight. It's fascinating to watch the little die roll. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a nineteen. Okay, what do you want an insight? Well, do, I can't get it. He's not bringing me there to be sacrificed to some god or something, right? It, it looks like he wants to go back home. Oh, so he just wants Let's me take to take him ask. home. <laughs> yeah, he's headed towards the chasm where the dead uh, hunter cavemen are at. Hunter okay. v. Gather. Then I will go with him. I'll motion at the other two. I got to get him back. Are you going to come along? Fine. Zadar? Yeah, I'm... Um, yeah. Ooh, do! Ooh, Ooh do! <laughs> uh, you guys head back down the chasm. Uh, go ahead and give me a, uh intimidation check for the Petrodons. Uh, let's see. All of us? Or yep. just... That's a 13? Crap. Uh, 17. Uh, intimidation 15. All three of you are angry and bloody enough to keep the birds on their perch, uh, especially with Zadar holding his explicit trophy above his head. Uh, the little boy begins to nimbly jump down through the chasm, and you guys are going to have to chase him. Really? You, now? You've been whining you... all this time, and you're just nimbly chasing? <laughs> I'm just printing around he's going home uh okay. as you as you reach the bottom a lot of the cavemen gatherers are anxiously awaiting your approach and you hear one more because you don't speak their language uh give me a perception check that's 15 10 one no nope. Nobody notices uh, where Mortimer J. Sneed is at. Oh, that motherfucker. Uh, damn it. <laughs> uh, the boy runs up to the adults of the clan. Not the white clan, Ku Klux Klan, but the, no. the clan of cavemen. Uh, <laughs> speaks their language, you believe? Uh, and they all bang their farm implements on the stone, making a clacking noise. Uh, with that, out of one of the caves comes the feathered woman, uh, adjusting herself. Behind her is Mortimer J. Sneed, who oh, is really getting no. busy. Chin up his britches. Nice. That's so <laughs> gross. You know what it is? She can't understand him. So, you know, all you it know, is is. It's the spectacles, man. It's the. Uh, yeah. The seduction of Mortimer J. Sneed. No, no language. Instructor. Uh, he makes heroes. He comes out. He made something. Uh, he says, uh, clearly the pair will have sealed a deal, and the shaman will move to the location 
uh, where you first appeared. Uh, and look, uh, Mortimer will go over to his satchel and start to go through his belongings to show her an image, but appear puzzled. He appears puzzled? He appears puzzled. Probably because okay. he stole his shit. Mortimer, what's wrong? Hi, Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand... <laughs> What's Just wrong? tell us. Just what's I'm, wrong? I'm missing a scroll with a picture on it. Oh, I think he picked it I, up when you dropped I, it. Yeah, here, you dropped this. <laughs> I hand him the scroll back. I, Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand hey. Academy, appreciate you. <laughs> he cracks the seal on it, looks at it. You guys look over his shoulder and you notice the triangular cutting. He then shows it Just to like... the woman, the shaman, and she looks at it. <laughs> she picks out a rather colorful feather just a simple feather Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand Academy points down to the ground she takes this fragile, an Italian a fragile pen <laughs> reaches down and a soft blue glow is emitted from the tip as she begins to carve on the stone looking at the emblem She completes it, puts the feather back into her hair. Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand Academy hovers over his amulet, and everything begins to glow. He goes, Hi, Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand Academy, maker of heroes. All right. Have discovered the way back home. Well, thank God. <laughs> well, well, get us a, back, Mortimer J. I Steve. need you to hold the wire again. <laughs> no the wire or the wedge? The wire. Okay. So, me and my fur bikini are holding it. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to put a layer of... Oh, I forgot. He doesn't recognize you, does he? No, probably not. The shaman does not like your appearance. <laughs> oh, uh... I, I shift back to no. I don't shift back. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> no, no. I'm just like, you know, in a, a point to the child, you know. Mortimer J. Sneed does not understand. Would somebody like to tell him? He will ask, "Where is your associate?" And I'm Get just like home, Mortimer. Yeah, I, or in I the will male crush voice. your testicles, and they will never be useful again. Uh, I, Mortimer J. Sneed, will go ahead and disregard what this voluptuous lady is doing here. Thank I, you. I need everyone to assume the position and hold the copper wire. Okay, we hold the wire. Hurt. You fold the way. triangle. The the lady covered in feathers. Yeah. Oh, Bye. No. Walks over and hands him a lapis colored feather. Aww. Aww. That's pretty. Mortimer J. Sneed takes it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Dangles down. The amulet touches the copper wire. A brilliant white light. He's such an asshole. It. And everybody looks up to see the blue sky. Roll for perception. Oh, God, oh, please Lord. let us be back. Uh, nope, no clue. I'm nope. looking at the again, thinking it's very pretty. Three. S <laughs> Seven. You all land face down on the stone oh. this time. Well, I don't know, ten. Actually, that was not the number I thought it was. That's close enough. You see ships out into the harbor. Okay, good. Uh, my Corona, you hear the high-pitched, squeaky voice of a halfling. Hello, my lady. <laughs> I reach up and grab him by the testicles. See if you can hit him. Can we punt him? Ten. Not good enough. Uh, you yank his trousers down, though. Mm. Uh, as you guys start to pick yourself up, Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand Academy goes... Huzzah! I have done it! And licks his feather. I kick him. 
<laughs> well, you got to get up first. As you get up, you see these seven halfling dwarves, uh, and a crowd has formed around you, including the dock master, who goes, did you guys get drunk that fast? No. Actually, I'm going to turn to Mortimer J. Sneed of the Academy, and I'm going to stand, oh, I'm assuming I'm probably taller than he is. I'm going to stand over him, and I'm going to, I want to intimidate him, like, cough it up. Cough up a lot more gold for that adventure. Uh, everybody roll perception. Oh, no. <laughs> Thirteen. Okay. Not bad. Twenty-four. Nope, not worth mentioning. Rosa is intently gazed upon yeah. Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand Academy, threatening him and asking him for more money. My Corona and, Z My Corona and Zidar look around as the throng of people start to build around, and you notice something unusual. Several members of the crowd seem to have generalized a appearances of like Mortimer Mortimer? <laughs> as though there might be distant relatives yep. here. Uh, Mortimer J. Sneed uh, quickly digs through his pockets and gives you two bags and thanks you for your assistance in helping him prove why he took the sabbatical from the Grand Academy where he makes <laughs> Heroes. Oh, he made heroes. <laughs> and the dock master says, God. the ship's in. Are you going to come get your ship? No, I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to slit his throat. Nice. The dock master? master? No, Mortimer J. Sneed. He will run. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but care. You will have to chase him through the crowd. He is short. I will get him. I assume that you will, but right now it's almost 10 o'clock, and just to dig in on Kyle, we're going to call it a night. So, uh, there you go, Kyle. Fucker. <laughs> Let's go with final thoughts. Uh, we ended with Carol. We'll start with Carol. Carol, what would you think of our 100th on, episode? Oh, my God. That was so much fun. Uh, it went much better after I change to the dice roller in TT Beyond because I couldn't roll for shit. <laughs> You're lucky I missed. Your dice are cursed. <laughs> fun, fun, fun adventure. Uh, I enjoy, really enjoyed this. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know what? I really do like playing this character. So, Well, there you go. Sounds you know, good to me. Yeah. David, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. I love the adventures of my, my Corona and Sadar. Yeah, this is awesome. So very good. My Corona, aside from dealing with Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand Academy, what'd you think? I like having adventures with Zadar. I am angry. At me? No, no. Never oh. at you. <laughs> okay. That'd be the DM and or Mortimer J. Sneed, Sneed. The instructor <laughs> at the Grand Academy. I didn't get to have any breaches. <laughs> I didn't, didn't get, get to the club. If you wouldn't kill him. Well, see, here's the thing. You've only been gone about an hour. I don't care because in perception time, we've been gone forever, right? Yeah, just a couple hours. Again, with your fucking time travel shit. You know what? Probably 700 years. Exactly. So The producer does not care for time travel, no, be it movies, not. TV, or apparently D&D. Yeah. <laughs> uh, folks, uh, oh, follow us on Twitch. Now you're cutting me off. I'm That's Carol right. now. <laughs> That's right. God follow damn it. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our stuff. Uh, tinyurl.com RPG swag. If you want to chat with us, tinyurl.com mhobo inc discord. Uh if you want to see, get a hold of us, this Saturday is campaign. Carol and the others will be uh, reoccurring their role. They're in a dungeon, and they've decided to fucking split up. I'm well, flipping you all off. Washing, washing my hands. Mm -hmm. uh, with that, we will go ahead and wave goodbye. Our producer will stop flipping me off. Nope. Go ahead and run the uh, flag sequence. So, so I'm... Bye, everybody. Uh, don't forget to wash your hands, and we'll see you on Saturday.
Thank you for watching MHITV. This concludes our broadcast. Thank <laughs> you.